Hi, and welcome to the episodes of Hack Your Sexuality. I'm Janika Ruska, and I'm studying neuroscience, but in addition, I have my education in sexual counseling. In addition to this intro episode, I will publish eight other episodes for Hack Your Sexuality. Today, we will define what means sexuality and also talk about privacy. In the future episodes, I will share the ideas about body image, self-dating, sex and beliefs. We will talk about toys, desires and senses, some fantasies, a little bit about kinky world. We will also go to the different types of relationships and also talk about jealousy and love and communication. With some of the topics, you might be familiar from my Instagram account called Hack Your Sexuality. From there, you can find some illustrations about the topics I'm going through. And if you prefer reading, I have also a blog where I'm sharing the same topics. It's called hackyoursexuality.com. The main purpose for Hack Your Sexuality is that it's your journey. You are the person who will decide what are the things you want to take to your journey. But as always, I recommend to keep everyone's minds a little bit open to be able to maybe learn something new. Welcome to today's episode. So let's start with what is sexuality? So we know what we are talking about. These you can also find from WHO. They have the definition for sexuality, but I will shortly describe it here. So it's said that it contains sex, gender identities and roles, reproduction, sexual orientation, pleasure, intimacy and erotism. It's said that it is expressed and experienced in behaviors, practices, relationships, values, roles, attitudes, thoughts, beliefs and desires. It is influenced by interactions of historical, religious, cultural, legal, political, economic, social, psychological and spiritual factors. So from here you can already hear it's a really, really wide topic. So it's kind of really interesting how you have became as a, that kind of sexual human being as you are. And if you would like to understand it, it a little bit more, I recommend you to check the hackyoursexuality.com and then you can go to the tools and from there to the mind section. There I have some questions which you can use to understand your mind better. So now we understand that sexuality is wide topic and I thought it's the best to start with talking about privacy because even though I think it's really good that step by step we are more allowed to talk about sexuality I always want that people feel safe if they want to share the things and it's not that everyone needs to do that so this episode is for you to stop and think what are the things you would like to share and what are the things you wouldn't and also think about why so i have pretty often these questions that what and why and these are really important questions so what comes to this what section you can think about do you like to share the past experiences or the current experiences or the relationships you have had or are you are having? Do you want to share the things you enjoy or you don't enjoy? Things you would like to try or you wouldn't like to try? How about your body? Do you want to share the worries you might have there or would you like to keep those by yourself? So the next question is why? I like to always ask if it's because of shame that you wouldn't like to share something 
or is there some other reason? If the person is experiencing shame, it doesn't mean that oh then then you really need to share things to get rid of the shame. No, that is not the thing. But if it's that I'm ashamed of sharing these things, which is totally fine, sometimes we are, but that is the point where to maybe stop why we are ashamed about that. Do we want to get rid of the shame? What we need to do? There can be plenty of other reasons why you wouldn't like to share things. And sometimes it's just not, oh, I have this feeling that I don't like to share and I don't want to think about it further. And it's totally fine too. But it's always also interesting to stop that. Okay, why I don't want to share this? Could it be because you like to have some things as a private so they feel more exciting? Or is it because there are many other people involved to those things you don't like to share? Because of course we need to respect other people's privacy too. There might be also the yes reasons that why we really want to share things. It can be that when we talk more, some other people feel that they also are allowed to talk about that more. So kind of freedom, feeling of freedom. You might feel that, okay, I got um, that feeling that I'm involved to some group. Or you might get some tips for different things, if you are sharing things and other people have experienced the same, and the list continues. So even though you have now maybe the what things you would like to share or you wouldn't like to share, and you might have the reasons why you wouldn't like to or you would like to share, I like to remind that these things you have decided now. So you can always have more or less privacy. You decide. The next thing is that we have different people around us. So the thing that, okay, I would like to share these things which I like to my closest friend, but maybe I, I don't like to share it to my family, or I don't like to share it in social media, or these things I would like to keep in my head because these are my fantasies and I'm just thinking about this by myself. Or you can think that Maybe for new people, I will not share things yet. So you may think that for who you'd like to share things and also for what level. Because you can share things in a general level. You can share opinions and talk about different topics without going too deep to your own experiences. Also, one interesting question is when question. So when you would like to share things. As an example, maybe you start to date someone and you have something, you know that it is important to share at some point, but you are feeling that I need to trust this person more or get to know the person a little bit more and then I might be ready to share that. And I would say that quite often people are sensing if you are keeping something important inside you and if you are feeling that you are not ready yet to share that, but you really want to be honest, so one way to be honest and still take care of your own limits is that, that you can communicate that you have something you really want to share, but you are not ready for that yet. And maybe giving the reason that it's really a sensitive thing for you and you wish that the other person would respect that. Of course, we need to realize that the other person have their right to decide if they want to wait. But this might be a little bit easier way to start also the conversation. If you know some things you would like to uh, have to feel safer, not just time, but something else, you can also tell that you need to have these things that you are ready to tell. Even though I really want to point out that it's really, really important to take care of your own limits and at the same time be as honest as possible and yeah, that you don't have to tell anything yet or ever if you don't want to. But one thing is that too often we are afraid how the other person will react. So especially when we are gonna have the 
uh, feelings towards the other person who we have been uh, dating maybe for a while, we might start to think that if I tell this thing, maybe they will disappear. And that is the truth. Sometimes they might disappear if they are not ready to talk. Or if something is really new for them and they don't know how to handle it. As an example, let's say that you would have some kinky thing you enjoy, which would be really important for you to have in that relationship. And you would say it aloud and the other person would disappear. Then would you like to have that person back? who would disappear and who wouldn't even talk about those things which are important for you. I'm not saying that everyone needs to do everything what the other person would like to have, but I think it's really good at least to discuss about those things. So my point here is that if you are afraid of another person's reaction, which one you put first? Are you gonna just satisfy for the things you think you enjoy? Or would you like to take the risk and say aloud things and maybe have the best conversation ever? But going back to a little bit more general level and to summarize things, what we talk about today was about privacy. So think what you would like to and what not share and maybe why. Is there something you need to work with or do you even need to know the reason? You can think for who and what level you would like to share things. Also, maybe when you are ready to share things, what do you need for that to share things? And also remember that the boundaries you are now setting, kind of the limits, uh, your privacy limits, you can set them again, any point you want. So. Welcome to Hack Your Sexuality. Remember to take care of your privacy. See you on next episode. Bye.